So what what is your what is your expectation to this uh, first step? Do you have any thoughts, any things you went into where you had like a little bit of a concern or anything like that? Anything? Uh, I mean, uh, asking me if I have any thoughts about Checkmania is like, of course, I will. I always think about Checkmania. It means like so, somebody says that men think about sex every seven seconds, but I think I think about Checkmania every seven <laughs> seconds. So I have thought about Checkmania the whole day, the whole, the whole week. The match is starting in two seconds, Eric. We are starting with the first step. The long-awaited Checkmania Grand League Season 2 is officially starting. It is starting. And we are starting with fly back. It's now three people within less than a second. Yeah, so it indeed. seems like it's Carl Jr. Pack and Papu battling for this round win. None of the ones we bet to win this map in particular, but you've predicted Carl Jr. to win it overall steps. And we had, of course, the chat predicting that Pack is gonna win it. And some people actually suggested that Papu will win this map in particular. So it seems like the chat knows more than me. So maybe for step two, I will, I will be giving my spot to someone else. But you'd look at this fight here for the top three. There are three hundreds in between each other. What a close fight. Carl Jr. is right now having the upper hand, but only six hundreds ahead of the Gamers Origin player. Papu and Papu with more speed going over the ice here. Going right now into the third identity. So Papu is looking good. But let's see what Pack is doing. 0.4 behind and he can still make some damage. So let's see what is happening here at this identity. And Carl Jr. jumps very low actually and it seems that he almost hit the reset block. If you hit that reset block, your car will stop flying and you are dead. And Papu got it even better. So Papu is now in the lead with 0.5 of a second so he has some room to breathe. Uh, let's look at this race. Let's just focus for now. You don't lose points. Let's just focus about the top three battle because Indeed. so far this is looking to be one of the closest battles we have seen yep. ever in Jack yeah. and it's Oh, Papu three with players. the no slide! Oh no, Papu with the no slide and this means that we have a lead change again. And also Pack has dropped a bit behind, but still they are so close together. 0 0.3, 0 0.4 of a second and it's super close. Papu with a good dirt section comes a tiny tad closer towards Carl Jr. But Oh my god, look at Peck's line here. What was that line? That was really good. He comes also closer to that first place. And we still have two laps to go. Two identities that the players have to cope here. But it look, it's looking really good that the Solary player will beat our Eminem player here. That Kojinia will take over that first place. Papu still in inside here. So one good identity from Papu. And he has shown that he's uh, doing it good. And he will eventually come closer. Saying to, that he's coming closer. Look at that. Papu eats Pack alive. Really good turn. And also only 0.3 behind Carl Jr. here. Approaching this identity for the second last time. Carl Jr. is still having the upper hand. But let's see. Carl Jr. jumping very low again. And let's see what Papu is doing. Papu's speed is good. But Carl Jr. got it good as well. So it's neck and neck still. And you can see the gap here between um, Pack, Spam and then also Yannix. Yannix is on fifth position and three seconds behind. It seems like Pack is out of the battle and it's now 1v1 one one between Carl Jr. and Papu. Last lap here. Any final prediction? Pack. Pack? Damn, a comeback. I'm gonna go yes. with Carl Jr. Okay, we have right now Papu in the lead. 0.4 of a second and Pack is also only 0.5 behind. He used to be 0.1.5 seconds behind but he can make the comeback. But this battle is so is still super close. Look at that. Pack with a very good drift here but it wasn't quite enough to catch up to them. And yeah, this one identity will decide it. Who is risking it? Who is risking it here for the 20 points and also for the maybe two additional points that you get from a map win? Who is gonna get that? Right now, Papu has the upper hand point. 17 of a second, but Pack is also here. Oh man, it's super close to call. Look at that. Let's follow Carl Jr. here for that last identity. Let's go with him. Papu jumping super far up, but Carl Jr. is risking it. And Papu has more speed. Where is Pack? Pack is not able to overtake him, and Papu wins map one out of Carl Jr. Then we have Pack spam in fourth position. Yannix in fifth behind his uh, his, uh, his landman Afi or countryman. Then Riolo, Kappa, Evon P9, Massa 10th, Aurel, Matt, Scrappy is also able to finish. And then we have Gwen in P14 and Bren and Tween in 15th and 16th rounding off here. But it is Tween who's not able to finish. And now the first identity will come up left, right, left, right, avoiding the pillars. And let's take a look how the players will do the first identity here. 
Carl Jr. in the lead ahead of Spam. And then we have Gwen in third position. So let's see. Will someone bonk into the tree? Gwen is going for the cut. Are you kidding me? Did, did he go for the cut? Or, or was that just me being blind? Didn't he go <laughs> to the left? I'm also blind. Didn't, didn't he go to the left? Wait, oh. Gwen, did Gwen, Gwen really go for the, to the left here? Because uh, that uh, was my assumption. But let's see what uh, the what the game world player is doing. Hopefully, I'm not cursing him here. Okay, because he can go to the left here. And yes, indeed, he did. Oh. No, no, oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gwen. Oh, no, no, no. It's starting again. Eric? Yo. I jinxed Gwen. I'm sorry. Yeah, he, he will survive that. He's 16 years old. He has a lot of life to catch back up with her. But the battle between Spam and Carl Jr., I mean, these are some veterans once you compare them to Gwen. Carl, uh, Carl Jr. winning the World Championship 2013, 14, and 15, but Spam won it in 2012. So then he beat Carl Jr. So it's already 10 years ago almost that these Indeed. dudes have battled. So it's insane to see this former teammate once again battling head to head. Oh, Spam and Carl, Carl Jr. both with a mistake. Look at that. Spam has dropped behind. And as well, Carl Jr., you, you could have seen uh, Ryoto was 1.8 seconds behind. And now um, he is coming a bit closer. So Carl Jr. is crumbling a bit. And Ryoto is capitalizing from that mistake here from Spam. Spam down to P5. And Massa is still on P6. And we are already approaching into the last lap one more time. They have to do the star jump. And really good performance here by Carl Jr. I like how the uh, mannequins are still shouting, Go Bren! Even though Bren has DNF'd. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing is uh, like, worth mentioning is that Spam made a mistake. He got back to like, mm -hmm. position 6. But his pace on this map is good. So he's already back up to 2nd place. I don't think he will have enough time to catch up to Carl Jr. But I think Spam is actually the best player on this map. But sadly he made a mistake. So then Carl Jr. capitalized on that. Kappa on P5, Pack on P4, and then we have Riolo still on the podium, P3. So positions look to be set in stone. Yes, indeed. It will stay like that. Carl Jr. wins it ahead of Spam. Then Riolo, Pack, Kappa, Massa, Aurel, Tween on P8. Yannick, Evon, Gwen, Papu, Afi. Oh, Papu ahead of Afi here in the ending. Very close. Two hundreds of a second. And then we have Matt on P14. Scrappy after that mistake. Um... On P14, actually, because Matt has made a mistake. And he will be the last player who will finish this round because Bran has DNF'd. Who is in the bottom eight? It's uh, your name, uh, Carl Jr. and Sam. So and Gwen. Gwen as well. Riolu as well. So people will lose 50% of their points if they end up in the bottom eight. And currently, it is not looking good here for them as Carl Jr. is only one second... Um, behind but still he's on a p on p13 and this will definitely put some pressure on him as we see a lot of mistakes though so carl jr comes back strong up to p12 and look at this fight here in that top eight region here super super close here and also beautiful eye section here by carl jr gets himself a lot of speed and look at riolu what what is that fight here look at that wow that that is that was a brutal line here by riolu and also by carl jr so carl jr now up to p8 just when you say that Carl Jr. is down the top eight. He's getting back into the top eight. So, greatly done, Eric. Yeah, I mean, there is something safe in life, at least before the last season of Jack Miller Grand League. Water is wet, fire burns, and Carl Jr. will finish above the bottom eight. And then we but have... Look at my bet. Look at my bet, Mr. Pack. He's at top. Look at me. I mean, I, sometimes I'm good at the predicting stuff. In yeah, indeed. Sometimes. Sometimes you're good in that. <laughs> One out of six times. Yeah, so my bet is on P10, so also not terrible. <laughs> not great. <laughs> lose, but every player in the bottom eight will lose 50% of their points. Okay, Evon does it good here. Oh, Yannick uses a little bit of speed there and also a little bit of grip. So Yannick's now down to P9. And now going one more time over that ice. Gwen is falling behind. Gwen is falling behind. And Yannick will capitalize from that mistake. So Gwen right now in the red position here. And this is not looking good. Is there any close battle going on here? Maybe for P5 as Scrappy is a little bit further behind here. But it seems that positions are most likely set in stone. Afi actually. And Pack who will take that third position. Afi or Pack. This is very close to call as Afi is, has a little bit more speed than Pack. One, one more turn and Afi with more speed. 
Oh my god, who will take P3 and it will be Peck staying ahead. P3 for him, Massa in six, uh, second, Papu in first and it is actually Yannick staying ahead here. Gwen has risked it in the end and Evon, Riolu, Gwen, Bren, Spam, Tween, Kappa and Matt will lose their, will lose 50% of their points and the top 8 will gain the points and will lose no points. Ahead, I what to is say. Papu doing though? Papu is like speed boost. Let's just go ahead and win this. My third map. <laughs> yeah. Papu looks very well prepared. Call Junior. Call Junior. Oh. SOS. Wait. And Scrappy. Scrappy no. Brand. Scrappy as well. Call Junior. Call Junior Call with Junior the backflip. <laughs> oh no. So this is not good for Call Junior here. As he is super far behind. More than 7 seconds. Make it even 8 or 9. So Carl Jr. could lose his points 9 seconds behind. And also Bren making the mistake. And also Scrappy. Riolo is there as well. So all the big names are down here. And now approaching the last identity. It is safe to say that Papu is getting first. And uh, Aurel in second. But who is going to get that third place? Gwen has more speed. And Spam is risking it here. As Papu is winning it here. We see Spam with a smooth approach here. But it is Gwen. Securing himself the podium spot ahead of Spam. Then we have Pack, Carl Jr., Scrappy, and Massa. So positions ha are set in stone here. Impressive performance just from Papu. Wow, what a great performance. Looking at the times from step one winter 2020 season, that being the last season, the biggest margin between number one and two was Papu back then as well. It was 2.4 seconds, and now it's eight seconds. So Papu on this map, I have no clue what that was. It looks like he was professional and the other one was sort of an average player, but he did that against the best of the best in the world. So I'm curious if Papu is just going to steamroll map 5 and 6 as well. I will go with uh, Carl Jr. What? Carl Jr. will lose his points? You, you, you heard it here first. Just come back to me what? in 10 minutes. Just come back to me in 10 minutes. Okay. Carl Jr.? Wait, what? What happened to Carl Jr.? No, 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 no. You heard no. it here first. You heard it here no, first. No, 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 Eric. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Too man. Like you. I so predict the future. But Gwen is not out of it. One of the key points about Gwen is that he's super fast. Now he just has to risk it. It doesn't matter if he plays number 9 or number 16. It doesn't matter if he's 2 tenths behind number 8 or 20 seconds behind. Let's see if Gwen can risk it because he certainly have the pace to actually catch up here. Indeed, and he is doing it right now. Only a three, three tenths of a second between him and the rest here. The top eight pack. Everyone clears that jump here. No one with a mistake. So um, this will be all in the end. Wait, Papu. Okay, I thought for me that he will drop down the ladder now, but that wasn't the case. Okay, Gwen losing slightly some time. And this ending. Look at this fight. I mean, all of them are in the top eight, but Gwen is just lurking here in the shadow and is waiting that someone is making a mistake. I'm gonna go with Riolu here, who's right now in eighth oh, oh, position. Right, but who? Who? Gwen made a mistake, and maybe it can be someone else. But no. Afi. Wait, back and forth. Who's gonna take it? It will be Riolu. Actually, stay there. So Afi has almost done it, but 0 0.05 at 0.5 of a second. And look at that spam one. What was that fight? Why didn't we spectate that? Spam, Scrappy, Papu. 14 hundreds of a second between them. What a close fight. Let's see, Pack. No, <laughs> he has a lot of points. It's, it's scary to go in with uh, a lot of points into this map, but it's now make or break. This is what the Ubisoft and they wanted. They wanted to have put all the pressure on the shoulders. Eventually, you have to earn your points, as SoftDB said. So let's see. Who will earn the points on this last map of step one? I, think, I, I don't think that there will be so many mistakes happening here on this Matt identity. Yamens is making a mistake. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh... And Pack! Pack with no speed in this part. And Pack Ooh. down to P14. Oh, P15, I mean. And Pack, this is looking very grim for him. He's 3.5 seconds behind. No, 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 no. This is not. And I saw someone in the chat saying that they were disappointed in Kappa, but it seems like Kappa has once again showed that he's strong mentally, he's strong tactically, and he has essentially put all of his training into this last map, and then you're gonna gain points here, and if you place well here, do you actually get the points that you earn on this map? Yeah. But Evon as well here looking really strong right oh, now on Aurel. P2, and Aurel, Aurel. Aurel with a respawn, right? 
Aurel respawn you fell out of the map, so it's GG for him and that is GG to the 41 points. And Riolu actually with a mistake here has lost 1.5 seconds going into the last lap already. So this is the last lap. Riolu has nothing to lose. But the gap is really, really big here as we can see. 1.1 seconds between him and uh, P8. Okay. Paul Jr. P6 still, so he's not losing his points. But we only see three big names here with big points. I mean, in the top eight, in the top eight, by the name of Papu, Spam, and Scrappy. And then we have Pack, Aurel losing more than 40 points. So this is grim news for them. Yeah, at the moment it seems like the positions are somewhat set in stone, at least the top eight. So. Unless people make the mistake, they should at least keep their points, and that is the most important thing now. And uh, once you mention, there's a lot of single-digit oh. scores up there at the moment, so surprising to see that. Yeah, okay, so Kappa wins the last map here ahead of Afi, who's getting third. It is Papu with a good line here. Papu ahead of Spam. Wait, he's going for the drift. Papu went for the drift, and he thought we would have to play another round, and therefore Spam has overtaken him. So, yeah. That was uh, some wasted points by Papu there. And then we have Evan, Carl Jr., Gwen, and Scrappy win or not losing their points. And then Riolu, Pack, Yannick, Massa, Bren, Matt, Tweenet, Orel losing their points. Oh man, so what an interesting first step. I definitely have to rewatch that. But it was all over the place. It was all yeah. over the place. Too much happening for even two caster to keep up with everything. Yeah. It's simply too much happening in Trackman and Grandling. That's what makes this fun, but also makes this unique. But Pack with the fastest time, though. So that's still something. Uh, he gets himself at least five points. So five plus two points. So seven points. And as you said, he's a fast player. He can make it happen. But yeah, Papu wins step with 92 points. Head of Spam in second. Then Scrappy, Kappa, Afi, Kao Jr., Gwen, and Evon, who have not lost their points on the last track. And the others here on the right are and have unfortunately lost their points. So yeah, what a performance by Papu in the...